Winter has finally released its icy grip on the Downey Agritourism Farm in Caledon, Ontario, and now they only have a few days left to restore the jumping pillows in time for the May 1st opening day. The pillows are only two years old, but they are already starting to deteriorate. They're a popular attraction at the farm, and they need to look their best in order to keep attracting paying customers, but they're too expensive if they have to be replaced every couple of years. Unfortunately, when John bought his jumping pillows, the manufacturer and installers never told him how to properly maintain and care for them. You can see that they are getting oxidized, chalky, and dull from the sun. The dirt is ground in and won't easily wash off. There are scuff marks all over the place, and the top of the pillows are dull and scratched from people jumping on them with sand stuck in their socks, acting like sandpaper. Today we're going to show you how he cleaned and restored them and got them looking new again with special jumping pillow cleaners and protectors from theme park supplies. The first step is to get them clean. The staff hose down the pillow one section at a time to remove the loose dirt and to wet the pillow. They put Maxi Clean in a garden sprayer and sprayed it onto the pillow. Now they spread it around with a cotton mop and let it penetrate through the grime for about five minutes. Next they scrubbed it to lift the dirt and then rinse it clean. There was only one hose available for rinsing, so while waiting, some of the staff took full advantage of the time off to test out the other jumping pillow. Now on to the next section. You can already see the difference when the dirt is removed, but the pillow is still dull and covered in scuff marks. Now they scrub the pillow with Speed Clean Restore, again one section at a time, making sure that it did not dry out. This cleans the dull oxidized material from the surface and brightens the color. Rinse clean again. The really tough marks have to be removed by hand with a power mitt and speed clean. Now that the pillow is clean, restored and dry, it's time to apply Polyguard UV Protector. It goes on quickly and easily with a long handled sponge mop. It's best to apply Polyguard when it's overcast or early in the morning or late in the day when it's not too hot. Otherwise, the Polyguard dries too quickly and can streak. The first coat is the sealer coat. See how the color is already starting to come back? They waited 24 hours for the first coat to cure and then applied the second top coat. They could have put on the second coat sooner, but this way they get better results. Look at that shine! The vinyl is looking brand new again. Even this badly faded green end cap is looking great again. Do you remember what this pillow looked like before? Well, look at it now. Well, they made it. Opening day and the pillows are restored and looking great and inviting once again. In the next few weeks, John will replace the surrounding sand with pea gravel in order to reduce the abrasion damage. This will still provide safety and keep the pillows anchored to the ground. Also, the pea gravel won't compact when wet or be as dusty as the sand so the pillows will be easier to keep clean. Regular washing with Indicon Pillow Wash will prevent ground-in dirt from damaging the fabric. If the pillows start to get dull again, reapply Polyguard. Keeping your jumping pillows clean and protecting them with Polyguard can double their life and maximize your investment and revenue stream. Thanks for watching our how-to video. We would also like to thank John Downey and his staff for allowing us to video the restoration of his jumping pillows. For more information about Indicon jumping pillow products and where to buy them, visit www.themeparksupplies.com. You too can restore, protect, and extend the useful life of your jumping pillows.